My group is keep low. I'm that nigga, I can't let a nigga try me. I'm hype. Poppin' hot shit, come and find me. Y'all nigga shit, that's why your bitch like. What's up, guys? Your boy, I'm the Air Force. Gang, and today we're back with another reaction video. Today we got six black men versus one secret white guy. So, who's the white guy? Let's go. I'm black. I'm black. I'm black. I'm black. I'm black. I'm black. I'm, black. I'm white. Oh shit. It's <laughs> crazy. I saw always the reverse one, so you know. So, now, uh, yes. one quick question I gotta ask: Are there any other like Africans or anybody with like any like Afrocentric ethnicities? My dad has Nigerian in him. Uh, what that? tribe? Do you know what tribe? Actually, I don't. But my mom's Ashkenazi, Russian Jew, and then my dad's literally like a mutt. He got Nigerian all the way from Asian to he's literally mixed with everything. Okay, for sure, for sure. Okay. Uh, anyone else? Nope, just black. Yeah, I got nicknames. Well, uh, Rosebud is actually just my, street name, my street name. My real name's Riley. My name is Fitzgerald. That's like the full first name, but then Fitz is like the nickname people call me by. They do Fitzy. Yeah, sometimes they do Fitzy. Sometimes they be doing Fitzy. I think my strategy was to kind of uh, just just be black. I'm not gonna lie, when you said Fitz, I thought it was because you had tough Fitz on, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I too, I too, you can't even you see him, that. what you talking about, that, bro? That too. I mean, if you could see, you'd probably be able to tell that I got a tough fit on. You I wasn't even that. funny. Can we all say what we're wearing and everything? I got a skeleton, all red, varsity jacket, cargo bro, pants you know on the crazy? side. What's up? We matching right now. I'm not wearing the skeleton fit, but I got like red. You got Air Forces on? I got Air Forces on. <laughs> no, you can't. No, you can't. <laughs> you I wish I could down you right now. Bro, I wish I could. I'm not gonna lie. I just love black people. Bro, they, they not even seeing each other and they vibing like they know each other. Bro, that's crazy. That's so crazy, man. I love that. Dap you up right now, bro. Wait, what type okay. forces y'all got on? So I got the Air Force ones with like the little black stripe on it. Okay, yeah, half half black, half white. You right. Oh, I see where you're going with that. I did say half black, half white. Half black, half white, you feel me? No cap, I used to wear some Pumas that were uh, half black and half white because okay. of that my whole life. Well, my strategy for today was to mm. figure out who's safe rather than figure out who's the mole right off the bat. Who's one of the brothers, you feel me? Who here knows no what the smell of a hot comb on a head? It stink. It stink real bad. <laughs> what are some prominent songs that you're gonna hear at a family reunion? Oh, they played a lot of blues. Marvin C, Bobby Blue Bland. Then when they got drunker, it was Tupac and. You know a it's lot. Vocal inflections, like it just it kind of it made, made me think of you know straight out of Compton, the movie. Maybe it felt too black, you know, mm -hmm. for a second. <laughs> Yeah, I grew up on classic rock from my mom's side, and then I grew up on Motown from my dad's side. So anytime, you know, summer vacation in the backyard with my Nana, she'd be playing all Motown. My pop up and Nana be dancing, slow dancing to it, you know. <laughs> Telling them, sit your ass down. You know? <laughs> Shit. Okay, okay. Okay. What's up? Everyone has one person that's suspicious of them. <laughs> So we know where, basically. <laughs> Yo, we made it. <laughs> All right. So I'm gonna start off with a theme song. You finish it. We're brothers. We're, we're happy and we're singing and we're colored. Give me a high five. Okay. I okay. Like that. <laughs> me growing up half black, half white. There's certain songs that they sing that I honestly didn't know word by word what to what to say. In the movie ATL, Rashad was running his daddy's house since what age? Mm. It's a famous line, y'all. Yeah. I got another. I ain't gonna cap. I ain't even know the answer to that one. Mm. I don't know either. <laughs> Let's complete the song. Uh, that boy got stretch, stretch pants. pants. That boy <laughs> got stretch <laughs> pants. <laughs> what is that? I got one. I got one. Anybody know what it is when you say you put your foot in something? Mm -hmm. yeah. To cook yeah. your real good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Me and your mama Can whipping we... it up. Mm -hmm. That food okay. is smack. I was listening so intently on on voices. Cause you ever been on the phone? With like telemarketer, you can tell it's a black person on the other side. So you throw out little hints, you know, while you're talking, and like, oh yeah, we cool. I was trying to catch that. <laughs> Call and response. Won't he do it? Yes, Won't he will. will. Who, who said that? Brevin. Jay. I'm suspicious of everybody else over here. <laughs> <laughs> now all black people don't go to church now. But they notice. This is true. What flavor of Kool-Aid was y'all favorite growing up? Red. 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 I like gray. Mm. I mean purple. 
Yeah, that's kind of suspicious. That's low sus right there. You say gray. Because where I'm from, where I'm from, we go by colors. We don't go by we don't go by that, what you just said. Wait, wait, but hold up. Why is that crazy? Because grape and purple are exactly the same thing. I mean, we used to call we used to call Welch's grape soda. I don't know. It's just where I'm from, we go by colors. We go by colors. Grape Kool-Aid, not purple. Mm. Red flag. He was trying to come at me about the grape, but honestly, that I, I grew up with a bunch of friends and we all called it that in Harlem. How you make your Kool-Aid? Yeah. You pour the sugar to the ancestors say stop. <laughs> <laughs> shit. In the summers, it was either if you were outside or inside, you had to pick, right? Like yeah, it wasn't no running or, in and running up, and, up and inside your house, you know. So y'all, y'all feel that? Or? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Don't let that good air out. <laughs> <laughs> when it comes to black women from the 90s, who do you think of off of it? Nia Long. I'm gonna say Holly Berry. Damn. Oh, I'm gonna say, uh, 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 ah, shit, what's her name? Ra she was a rapper. Um, wow, what's her name? Rap City. Jada Pinkett. Or the sister from. Wait, you can't take two, dog. Right. Right. You taking forever. Holly Berry, like, for real. Oh. Shotty from, like, Black Panther, who is the queen, mm. you feel me? Yeah, I know her name, but yeah. you gotta know her Angela name. Bassett, there Angela Bassett, go. there we go, there we go. I, I think a, a, a Whitley from a different world, I can't remember her name. Old girl from a different world. Mm. Growing up watching my sister Raven Simone, Tyra Banks from that runway show. Um, is that 90s? Tyra's from the 90s. I was sitting back watching them being like, sheesh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Tower Banks was, yeah, she was, uh, uh, yeah. Let's go. Okay. Appreciate y'all. <laughs> My homeboy was matching with is gone now, bro. When it comes to being black men, microaggressions, oh, let's talk. Huh? He about went it. away that other guy. Man, I went That's to crazy. PWI. Man, I be chilling in the corner. There's only five percent of us, but somehow they find a way to take a picture of you for the for the dang for the diversity. Like, for, the, for, the, for the diversity, right? I'm like, Bro. they only five percent. I gotta give them credit though, cause like finding us is gonna be a little bit tough, but like they they found a way regardless. I ain't ever gonna lie, Loke. I'm I'm real lost. We from the streets. I ain't even get that far, like college and stuff like that. Hey, we all got a different journey. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah, it's like the low key racist thing. Yeah. Like, not like, you're so well spoken. Wow. Why wouldn't I be? I'm a grown man. You're a black guy. Game. You're so well spoken. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You peep game, you walk down the street, right? And a white folk see you. The first thing they do when they see you or acknowledge you, they fold their lips, like, and nod their head down. <laughs> make that weird or face. They give you you know? no space okay. on the sidewalk or even step in the street. Yo. Or clutch their bag. Clutch the purse. Yeah. Micro aggression. Clutch like, the bag. Or take the next elevator. Yes, mm -hmm. all of that, all of that. Hella room in the elevator too. Stare at you like, you ain't supposed to be here. Okay. What, what was one of y'all favorite movies growing up? You feel me, like Love and Basketball, Don't Be a Menace. I mean, which, what did y'all watch? I like New Jack City. Like, that was all right, you from New York. Yeah, dude, so you already know, like, I am my brother's keeper and that's some real shit, so. I'll tell you what, man, I watched the, uh, the first Power Rangers movie like twice a day for like the first four years after it came out, man. Power Rangers? Yeah. Power Rangers. <laughs> what season? What season? Oh, yeah. Mighty Morphin. Oh, Mighty Morphin. Oh, facts, facts. Hard is hard. It is. I watch, I watch anime, too. I'm not oh, wait. You watch yeah. anime? I do. Uh, I what, what, you, do. what you like? What you like? I can talk about these for shows again. Wait. Come on, y'all. Naruto. Come on, like. Don't laugh at me, but I love the Disney Channel originals. You know what I'm saying? Oh, like, uh, no. No. You know, them was good. Hey. Let's watch, let watch a Disney Channel. Boy. Y'all know about that static shot, though. Come on. I was literally just about to say. Let it shine. Static shot. I met his voice actor, bro. He was, you that, did? Phil, my dude is cold dope, bro. Wait, he voices every single black, every single That's black, crazy. every And Samurai Shout Jack. Shout out to Phil Lamar. He's, he's got yeah. range, bro. Yeah. He's got range. Shout All right, I got a question, because I feel like we just going to be be like... We going to be vibing, man. Too yeah. much, yeah, right? I got y'all after this. <laughs> Even if you white, we got to tap in, for real. <laughs> hey, you have to... Yeah, nah. you be like... But, uh, okay, so... Hmm. Why does that bother you? It, no. <laughs> 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 you didn't have to point that out, bro. Okay, so in, in regard to dating and whatnot, my first girlfriend, she ended up being... Uh, a Russian girl, and my dad was, he, he always used to throw hints like, hey man, you know, she's nice and all that stuff. And like, he, wouldn't, he would never say it, but I knew like the upbringing he had, he dealt with a lot of racism stuff. So he kind of mm -hmm. had like the hesitance mm -hmm. for like those type of relationships. Did your parents or, you know, family members like say, hey, like. I mean, my mother was from Shreveport. So, you know, she used to be on that. Uh, and she was older when she had me. She was already like in her late 50s. So okay. she wasn't playing with none of that really. I don't think my parents ever put, they just want me to love who I love, but at the same time, I think there's always that underlying, like, 
you know, we would love for it to be a black woman, you know what I mean? Yeah, it was actually the same for me. They never said don't bring a, a white girl home or anything like that, but I definitely know how it would make them feel if I yeah. was to bring home a sister. No for sure. Like, oh shoot, like you're, you're with somebody who understands you, right. who can understand what you go through in life as a black man on the yeah. day to day to day basis, from the mm -hmm. microaggressions to the ridiculous racism in your face. My people yeah. are cool or whatever. Like, I'm cool or whatever too, but like, I appreciate a sister, like, because she understands me and I don't have to explain myself. Oh. Okay, Andre. Mm. I don't know what the hands, what, what, what does that mean? We have a tie between Rob and Brevin. Y'all yeah, hit that side of relief. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm Brevin, I'm from Louisville, Kentucky, like I said. Um, I didn't have a traditional like upbringing as far as like dating um, a lot of different people because I'm a queer black man, but it took me a long time to get there. Um, but as far as home life, I had a, a two parents, uh, two older brothers, a little sister, um, super close. Yeah, um, this is hard, I don't know. I'm black, <laughs> y'all, I'm black. <laughs> My name's Robert, I go by Rob. I'm from South Central LA. We bounced all around. Uh, it was just me and my mother, three sisters and two brothers. I've been in and out the streets, uh, not too much school, and that's pretty much it. Yeah. When it came to Brevin, it seemed like he was privileged, and I relate more to struggle. Hearing some of the things that he was saying, it kind of like made me think and like second guess. In my brain, I was like, this is probably just like one of those cases where he could be white, and he's just a product of his environment. Brevin, you can't vote. I appreciate the try, bro. <laughs> it looks like we are tied again. Wow, what? I voted for Rob just because I think I heard everyone else speak a little bit more. I also voted Rob. First of all, you know, I, I'm just gonna say that like, the environment he grew up in, you know what I'm saying? I think that like, you know, that's just a case where he could like relate to a lot of like, black people's struggles, you feel me? Uh, but he might not be like, black in and of himself. I voted for Brevin to get out. Um, not because Brevin necessarily said anything bad, but it was more so because of when Rob was talking, I felt like I was listening to one of my cousins talk. Um, and he definitely sounds like he's from South Central, for sure. Not a whole lot of white people down there. So, I'm gonna say he stays. Rob Black, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> I know that's a fact, Rob Black. He yeah. sound like people from around my way. So, he, no offense to you, Brendan. <laughs> you ain't right. But you gotta kick I rocks. <laughs> I, I hear it in Brendan's voice sure. too, though. Like, you that's watch the thing. I hear it in both. Yeah. But, I hear it, yeah. for sure. Bro. But Rob, like, I feel like I could say certain things to Rob and yeah. he pick up on it quick. If I say something, certain things to the other, it's like, is you gonna really relate or? Yeah. yeah. You know, I no think that what but... does hit and lick me? <laughs> <laughs> what does hit and lick me? <laughs> That's crazy. I'm kind of sick though. So, yeah. mm, 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 mm. Mm. Damn. <laughs> Take me away. Yeah, Rob sound like he know good catfish. <laughs> I'm not sure why I got voted out. I feel that a lot of times I've felt that I'm too white for the black people and too black for the white people. But it's okay, it's all good. I think the mole is still in the box and you want to continue playing the game, raise your hand. No, stop! What are you doing? 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 I knew I wasn't going to get eliminated. Um, Why is that? I don't know, I just came in like I was gonna win. Really, I already said I was gonna win, so. Anybody else got a question? Oh, yeah. All right, so let's make things a little bit spicy, mm. you feel me? What's like one critique and or what's one thing that you think like black people could be like doing better in? Or like a hot take about like black people and you know, our community and stuff like that. Since the beginning of the US, um, with the obvious mistreatment of black people, a lot of information pertaining to being able to further us as a people has been withheld from us. And more so recently, the information has been normalized to be pushed out, and this generation is really doing a lot to make sure that we are as gamed up as possible with all the tax information, with all that stuff, so we can no longer have those 
continuing circumstances of not having the information to be able to financially no, evolve as businesses as well. I think that's dope. Black businesses need to come. Or people need to really yeah. be on their P's and Q's with that stuff because the more we sit around and don't go after this information, the more our situation continues to remain the same financially. Even though we spend some of the most money in the U.S., it never stays within the black community. The game banger. Yeah. That yeah. got to stop. Elaborate on that. Well, it's, just, it's no point in game banging no more. I mean, uh, if you think about it, you game banging. Uh, and then it got so bad where, you, you know, everybody that run black in prison is together. Even if you from the enemy side, the op side or anything. So if you go to prison, so if I if I supposed to game bang, shoot somebody, and if I get caught and I got to go to prison and get along with the people who I just slid on, it, just, it don't make no sense. And there's no money involved. Mm, I feel that. Mm. So it's just, it's, that's, that's the first thing got to go. Don't be so quick to buy Gucci, Prada, Louis. <laughs> No like, care. I mean, I'm not one to speak myself. I got Ricks and Suvi on, but at the same time, like, if one of the homies has a brand, you should be going to go buy that, yeah. you know? I feel like uh, a critique is just, uh, my little brother is, uh, he's at a HBCU, a small one in Oklahoma, and uh, nothing against, like, the school or anything of the people who's around, but I feel like the ideas and, uh, and like, the mindsets that he's been around from his, uh, you know, early childhood and whatnot, because uh, have been just like not open-minded to new possibilities. Opportunities are out there. We just got, you know, open-minded to it and try to figure out what works for us, you know? This might be on the fault of like the media, mm -hmm. but I think sometimes we over-sensationalize like our pain. And I think that there's so much more to like the black community, whether mm -hmm. it's joy or like having a good laugh or something, like there's just so much more to us than like, you know, the pain that we go through. And I think that needs to be, you know, shown more in like our movies, our TV shows, just like the way we talk about, like the way we talk about things. Like I think that there's just so much more to the black community than that. I want to see black people doing goofy stuff on screen, not just being slaves, you know? Right. Yes. Come on, not talk about it. Or criminals, or yeah. or, or, yeah. or they're gangsters, yeah. and killers. Oh, that's not yeah. even like a thing for America, but like you go to China, you go to like some of these other places, like that's there all they go. see of us. You feel yeah. me? Yeah. Damn. Word. Y'all gonna be real? Yeah. I think we're all good, bro. Same. Shit, no. No, 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 no. Y'all not all good. There's an imposter. Sorry, Gabriel. You know what I'm saying? It happens. Come on, If you think the mole is still in the box and you'd like to continue the game, raise your hand. Mm. All right. So that's unanimous. We're gonna end the game right then and there, okay? If the lights turn green, that means you voted the mole out and you all win. If the lights turn red, oh. that means the mole is still in the box Ooh. and you all lose. The thought popped in my head of, what if you had it wrong the whole time and the guy right next to you is the one? Three, two, one. Oh. It is red. That means the mole is still here. <laughs> you guys can lift your blindfolds in three, <laughs> two, one. <laughs> what? This is hold on, hold on, wait, 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 wait. Rob. That's Rob. No. That's Rob. That's Rob. No. I'm Brevin. Brevin? Yo, what's up? Brevin. Yo. What's up, yo? What? Big ups to you, yo. Big ups to you. Hey, yo. Of course, there's been like a couple white boys who cool, but like, not like Rob, like that was different. My name is Robert, but uh, they called me Milk. I'm from South Central. I got adopted at seven days old as a baby, like out the hospital to a, uh, a black mother. So I was raised with her ever since seven days old. That's crazy. My whole Man. family was black. I didn't even know the other, I never met the other oh, people until I was like that's dope. grown, grown. That's real. My, my upbringing was a little strange. I was the only white kid at every party, every crazy. birthday. But I never really, that never really like bothered me, I guess. Is it hard for you to fit in with white people? Oh, it was. It's getting a little better. Huh. Uh, what about for black people then? Is it easier or was it more difficult to get along with Nah, people? nah, no. nah. I mean, that's all I was around my whole life. Right. Jail, yeah. county jail, yeah. juvenile yeah. hall, every yeah. party, yeah. everything. And your whole family, like, they just all accept you. Because I got sides of my white family that, like, they wouldn't even hold me as a baby because I had a black dad. Nah, nah, hell nah. Nah, I had a good family. Since my mom married a black man, 
they sat shibbets for her, which basically in the Jewish community means that you're dead to me. And it's almost a mm -hmm. um, lone feeling that crazy. you get sometimes. That's you crazy. Like you can't relate to anybody. I was like the baby, Loki, like the youngest one. Wow. What is a misconception people have about black men? Put us in a, in a box that basically That's states crazy. that we're always angry or mad. There's a lot of happy black folk in the world. Like, me personally, I'm happy. We're not as monolithic as a lot of people would make us out to be. We are bankers, we're lawyers, we're doctors. We all originated from Africa. We all, because you're further away from the equator, it doesn't matter. Black is beautiful. No cap. No kip, uh, we rocking with rock because rock is, you know, rap is rocking with us. <laughs> so yeah, man, nah, that was a great one, you know. Um, I feel like the feeling is, um, it's like this. Let me, let me point it good out. Okay, so um, you saw Rob, right? Rob, he grew up with us, you know. He grew up with black people, so he know how we are, and uh, he don't got racism in him. He don't got it, you know. And that's why we don't need to see color. We just need to see the vibe, how people treat us, you know. So that's that's just important, you know. No cap. But yeah, uh, guys, I hope you guys liked it. I liked it. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share. See you guys soon. Air Force.